Hello, hello, this is Ben with another update from Mysterious Space. This update is coinciding with the release of version 0 0.2.3. Uh, technically April 25th, it's 1 a.m. where I live. So for some people it might be April 24th. Whatever! So the first thing to show off, uh, I, I, there's a debugging mode that I use for uh, testing stuff out. And it does things like gives me a bunch of weapons to make sure I can get new weapons with cool new effects. It gives me a bunch of alien artifacts, gives me a bunch of upgrade points. It also makes it so that no matter what level you're on, all enemies are available. And that's very important for me for testing out new enemies. Uh, I mentioned this for two reasons. One, I'm going to show off a new enemy. Two, I'm going to show you how you can enable debug mode uh, in Mysterious Space when you play. And you enable it by entering the Konami code because that's perfect. So you do a little up, up, whoops, let me give this window focus. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B, which in the keyboard's case is escape, and A, which in the keyboard's case is enter. And you probably can't hear that. Oh, I promised I'd figure out how to get sound. I lied, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. Um, anyway, it makes a little whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I can't, why do I even try to mimic these noises? Anyway, uh, it enables debugging mode. And you can do it again, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, escape, enter, to, to turn it off. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, escape, enter. And if you have a gamepad, uh, then you can do BA, as is the... Uh, you know, traditional. Uh, I actually haven't tested it. For some reason, I've been having trouble getting the controllers to work, but that's because I always have two Xbox controllers in. Let's see if it's working for me right now. I don't know what's going on. I th like, I'm the game used to work with controllers, but uh, I've had two controllers plugged in recently because a friend and I have been playing, I was going to say Bro Force, but not Bro Force, uh, but similar. Mercenary Kings, which is a fantastic game. It's in his great co-op because you, you it's like Metal Gear, uh, or sorry, Metal Slug. <laughs> Metal Gear. It's like Metal Slug, the old arcade shooty game, uh, and it's glorious pixels, and it's so retro in, in 80s in all the best ways, like making fun of it. Um, but anyway, so let's start a new game in debug mode. Uh, it's worn, so I call it Carrot. And hopefully we will soon see a new enemy to show off, and I will talk about the crazy new mechanic that he uses that players still cannot uh, in fact, I think I already hear him. Okay, so there he is. I'm going to hide behind this wall because you'll notice he shoots right at me because he's a little bastard. Um, so this guy aims his bullets at you as he fires. And this is... he's missing? It's embarrassing. Um, that's okay because you move. So, huh, he's missing always by like the same angle. Well, you know what? That's going to go in this release. So what he is doing that you cannot do, he's using a, a weapon that aims its bullets toward your cursor. Uh, and all creatures have a cursor, including players. So, however, I haven't implemented a way for players to actually, for your cursor to have an impact on the game. So these weapons aren't available to you, but if they were, when you shot, the bullet would fly toward your cursor. Uh, the computer, uh, sorry, the, the bots, whatever, the enemies, uh, they get cursors because their cursor is wherever they want it, according to their AI, and in the case of this guy, his cursor is always positioned directly on you, except apparently a little bit to the side. I didn't know that. notice that when I tested it last time, uh, but that's fine. We'll just go ahead and release with this bug. I will fix it up later. It, it gives me something to put in the change log next time. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Um, here's something else debug mode does. Uh, it tells you uh, your depth in the dungeon, if you want to think of it that way, since it's a roguelike, or so I insist. Um, and, uh, God, there's so many noises on the screen, and it shows your coordinates, which is just useful for me sometimes when there's other debugging stuff I want to put up. Um, and then debugging mode gives you all these things, um, all the all the little notes, and uh, weapons to try out, and uh, and everything, and, and look at all those upgrade points. Um, so something that w we're not seeing right now, when you save the game, it keeps track of whether or not you have ever had debug mode uh enabled for that save game. And if you ever have, then your name will not go in the high score table. There is no high score table right now. I'm just going to die. Uh, not <laughs> necessarily because I intended it, but let's say it was. So there isn't a um, high score table, but that is a, a feature. I'll, I'll probably work on that for 0 0.2.4. Uh, but again, if you have had debugging mode enabled for your game, then you will not be eligible uh, for the high score table. That just makes sense. So, so yeah, I mean, that, that's about it. I mean, everything else I've demoed before, the levels have... Uh, I, can I get Notion level? No. Uh, but the levels have, you know, nice decorations. Uh, it, there aren't that many, and, and nice might be a, 
subjective. Um, but anyway, so they've got the rocks with various colors. The oceans look great. I have two different ocean color schemes now. There's a more bluey, one, bluey purple and a more bluey green one uh, and different colored seaweeds for, for each and everything. Uh, and yeah, I'll continue to work on, on the different biomes if, if we want to use that terminology. Um, and really what I would like to do eventually, and I think I've mentioned this before, is when I have enough different types of monsters to start splitting them up based on biome to, to give more meaning to your choice. So that when you go to a level, you you know, you know you decide when you have that sort of choice. Oh, I didn't mean to quit. Uh, but you know, when you have that choice on the sector map of what level do you go to. Um, oh, right. Uh, you know, so when, like well, if I got up to sector two, which planet do I want to go to in sector two? Well, I know that these gray planets, those have like meteor storms and I hate those, whereas ocean planets have those squid and I hate those too, but maybe I hate them less because, I don't know, my rubberized bullets will be fine, will be, you know, tight quarters in, in the ocean, you know, whatever. So you can, you can make those sorts of de decisions um, and, and uh, to your advantage, hopefully. So. I will stop rambling. I'm going to get the video online, and I it's going to take so long to upload that by the time that's done, I will certainly have compiled and posted the download for 0.2.3. And sorry it took so long. I got a new cat who's sleeping adorably behind me. Um, and it's just it kind of been a busy week catching up with friends I hadn't seen in a while and, and all this other stuff, and work too. So anyway, hopefully the coming week will be a little less busy and I can get more updates because I'm definitely looking forward to working uh, on this game. And please, if you're watching this, I know very few are, um, tell me how you, what you think about this game because I, I would love to get some feedback and if people have ideas, that's exciting and awesome. I, I want to hear them. So, So anyway... Thank you again for watching, and I will, uh, yeah, have fun. Have fun playing the game.